Hello YouTube, this is One Little Piece, and I'm doing a review on the new uh, 2011 uh, Clone Trooper Battle Pack. So this is the new one. Uh, ages 6 to 12, uh, 7913, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, eight, 85 pieces, and just a little short uh, notice. This re review will be mostly on the figs and less on the set, because it's tiny. So... Onto the, onto the box first, yeah. Uh, here on the side, oh sorry. Here on the side you have a picture of clone trooper. These are the eat cock uh, troopers. Uh, so, I mean, and the eat cock troopers appear in a grievous intrigue, I think, episode with eat cock, the Jedi. I forget what legion they belong to. Uh, yeah, they have we lime green, uh, lime green markings. It's not really lime green, it's a different shade. Not sure what color it is. Markings on their chest and helmet. I'll get to the fig, uh, onto the fig, real fig later. And another thing about the set, if you want normal clone troopers, you have to get the old battle pack. This battle pack, no more normal cl clones. You get two bomb squad troopers, which I think is kind of excessive. And you get uh, one of those he's caught, which is cool, and uh, one Arf Trooper, which is also nice. Uh, here in the back, you see they're supposed to battle against the Mando, Mando Mandalorian battle pack. So the Mandos right there, they battle each other. Uh, I'm not getting a Mando pack. Maybe later in the year. I'm not sure. I'm, I doubt that I'll get it. I don't know why, but I just don't. Uh, I don't want to get too many bounty hunters and, yeah, that watch stuff, so, whatever. Just my thing. Uh, so, anyway. Anyway. Uh, on to the figs, uh, themselves. Oh. So, uh, here we have the Eat Caught, uh, Trooper. That's what I'm going to call him during the vid. And they actually call him, uh, Commander, Commando or something. Which is kind of stupid. Lego. That's seen the Star Wars history. So he has lime green markings there too. That's why I got confused. So there's another uh, shade of green. Which I don't know by the name. And there he has a green little thingy. In the inside of the helmet. Green markings there. Uh, with uh, yellow mark. I mean lime green markings too. The helmet. Then you got... Uh, printed legs. So this is a first for the clone troopers. You got printed legs on the bomb squad trooper too, which is pretty amazing. So, uh, printed legs, they don't go all the way back. They go quite a, back, back quite a bit, yeah. You got this new blaster, which is okay. I mean, comparing... It was an old little blaster, which I don't have here. Sorry, the big blaster, and then, I mean, that's a rifle, and then the normal blaster, yeah, that's what you see. So, if you take its helmet off, it's a regular clone trooper, regular clone, right there, and he does have printed back, like all clone troopers, with his, uh, legion markings, so, yeah, makes sense. Uh, now, you get two of those little pistols, uh, two rifles, one is on the RF Trooper. ARF Trooper stands for Aerial Re... No, sorry, uh, something... Recon Force Trooper, I think. I'm not sure. I get confused with other types of troopers there is. And you get one of these little blasters. I mean, they could have been better on the guns, because I really don't, uh, I don't, I'm not a big fan of this. This is more something you could give to Cad Bane and take his two blasters in, uh, instead. So that's what I'm going to do, actually. It's a tip. Uh, then you have the Bomb Squad Trooper. He has orange markings all over. If you watch the... This, I was going to ma actually make a custom clone like this, but uh, I decided not to. And if you watch the episode that I don't remember the name, Blue Shadow Virus, yeah, they come to... 
do something with the bombs and the virus thing. Anyway, the virus is released, so they didn't, they didn't really do a good job. And, well, yeah. And if, as Lego Boy mentioned, this helmet, if you brass out this helmet, you get it uh, orange. Full clone trooper orange helmet. Orange plastic. So, yeah, nice helmet. Same clone face as usual. You get the markings like that. Well, back, front, printed legs, amazing. It, uh, the orange doesn't go all the way back. And Lego Boy mentioned these printings were kind of inaccurate. I mean, they they weren't in the right spot. They were not well printed. But that's kind of a lie. At least not the ones I got here. That's not really true. So you get two of those. So I don't recommend you get too many of these or else you end up with Lego Boy with uh, five, I don't know, a hundred of those Bomb Squad Troopers. So yeah. Uh, then you get your Arc Trooper. This is amazing. I really love this, this Arc Trooper. RF Trooper, sorry. I'm gonna say Arf, just sure. Uh, then he has a green, lime green, that's lime green, markings over there, red, uh, arf trooper marking there. Then he has the normal clone trooper torso and back, yeah, so, normal. The helmet is a special thing, so, it's the same face, exactly. And he gets another rifle, but now, uh, the helmet itself, four markings, four little stripes right there. The Arf Trooper thingy there, lime green markings on the side, and very well done this part in the front. And, well, yeah, uh, another thing Lego Boy mentioned is that you can. Oh, sorry about that. You can turn his helmet all the way around without it actually getting stuck on the shoulders. So, yep, yeah, very well done, Lego. Good job. I like the visor too. The visor could be slightly better. I don't love the visor, but it's, it's good. It's okay. So, uh, yeah, great job, Lego. Now, now we get on to the speeder. And the speeder is, Lego called it a bark speeder. I mean, it does look like a bark speeder, but, mm, mm, I don't know. I, I wouldn't do a better job, but this, uh, I, mean, I mean, for Lego, I think they could have done a better thing. Sorry, I'm just readjusting the light. I don't, I'm not liking the lights in this video. So, it's just a full look at the speeder. Front view, side view, back view. I mean, uh, I don't know why, th why they put that green. I mean, was it to go with that clone trooper? Because really, he doesn't have that kind of green. So the speeder, um, they could have just put that green in gray. I don't know. Lego saving on money on parts. Maybe green plastic is cheaper or something. I don't know why Lego thought of green. It isn't even making any sense. To me, at least. So, anyway. Uh, on the side, you have the thing. That this is well done. I like the, the way they use these keys as the bark speeder things on the side. I mean, I, I forget what they are. I mean, I don't know what you call them. I mean, here in the back is the engine, but I don't know what they really are. So... Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn off this light because this is really bothering me. And that light's really bothering me. It was peaceful at first, but then I got sick of it. Uh, so, yeah, then you got the back. It's normal. This, uh, the way it's built is uh, this way. can't pull it off. Comes off like so, yeah, the, the way that comes off, just like this easy. And uh, I like the way they use these as blasters, the uh, harpoons. Uh, but now I will show you how you can actually fit a figure on it. Uh, wait a uh, yeah, so that didn't take one second for you guys, but it did take a few seconds for me. Uh, so yeah, uh, on the cover they put the top trip where I did the same here. So you put his hands on the little thingy there. It looks pretty good. I mean, overall speeder, I like it. 
I mean, I know I criticized the green and all, but uh, overall, this Peter, I like it. And it, it was about time Lego brought a Bark Speeder into one of their sets. Uh, I heard it, I mean, I didn't hear, I actually saw it. The Geonosis set actually has one too, for Luminara and Ghoulie, and they removed the green, they did not put the green piece. So I really think it was for j just for the Eat Caught Trooper, they thought it was the same color, which, eh, it's a little, <laughs> a little crazy. But, because it's not the same green, yeah. Uh, so so, I'm not going to pick on LEGO anymore. I'm just going to uh, rate the set. Not rate. You know, I don't rate. But, yeah, I'll just tell you a little thing. Um, for adults, you might not want this set. I mean, especially if you're a classic kind of guy. Uh, you don't want this set. Uh, mm, smaller kids, you love this set. O older kids, you'll love it too, especially if you if you want to build a clone army or something. So yeah. So rate, comment, subscribe. Look forward to more reviews on Star Wars sets and more. Uh, bye.